Hey guys, what's going on? It's Greg here uh, with BetweenThePoints.com and uh, a lot of times when I'm with my students, they need to change their over grip and they're not quite sure how to do it. So I've been asked a couple times to make a video about it. Um, so it's a pretty simple process. It does take a couple times to kind of master it, but I just want you to let you know that there's no way you can screw this up because if you feel like it didn't quite go right for you, then you can always unravel it, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate here how to do it, okay? So as you can see, I've got my tennis racket here and I got the over grip do. Okay, so the first thing you do, obviously, is you uh, take the over grip off. You just wanna start from the top here. Got the over grip off. All right, so they usually come like this. Uh, see this little silver thing? That's the tape that you're gonna use at the end to finish it. What I like to do is to get myself started is to make sure I take this little piece off. You know, put it away and get this, see this little thing here? I'm gonna get this off because then when I actually need it, it's gonna be a little easier. And I won't take it all the way off and I'll just put it off to the side. I might put it somewhere metal where it's easy to uh, grab when I'm done with my racket. Now, your over grip is gonna come like this. Uh, one side is gonna have a plastic film over it. Most of the time, some don't come with that, so you gotta figure out which is the top. So with the plastic film, that's usually where you wanna put your hand on, so that's the top, right? You start to get it off, right? So again, this is gonna be usually the stickier side and usually the, the side you want to put on. So I'm gonna take that film off, all the way off. Uh, now most uh, most of these these days come in with a little piece of tape that's gonna, you can stick to the back of your racket here. I'm gonna take that off. And what I'm looking for, if I don't see that piece of tape, what I'm looking for is the angle, right? This angle here, right? That's what we can start, the, that's where we start using it the overgrip. Now some overgrips don't necessarily don't necessarily uh, come with this angle so you just basically if it was just this you would just start it here and go from there or you can do this. I've noticed that if you start on the on the side here the shorter edge it actually rolls a little better. So you see I put that on there right I got that on there I'm gonna try to get position so you can see it okay and you see that's the angle side right now I hold this. Now with the sticky side, it's pretty good. You, you're gonna be all right, you got this. It sticks on. If it doesn't have a sticky side, you're just gonna have to hold it with your finger. And then you start wrapping. What I like to do is I like to pull this a little bit, this one here, and just kind of start to turn my racket versus trying to wrap my overgrip over it. So once I get to this point, then I can start to begin to go down. Now we don't necessarily have to uh, pull really hard. You could if you want to. Now the trick here is this first one here. Just make sure you get enough of a bevel to cover that up, right? We don't want to do this because then the overgrip is going to come undone really easy. And once you get a, a good feed, good spot, then you just kind of continue that, right guys? So you just kind of continue. And I'm going to just kind of, uh, the, the bevel here, I'm just going to try to get it nice, not too big. I don't want it too big because then an overgrip won't go there. I don't want it too short because then the overgrip. So this bevel here is going to be just a little bit, you know, maybe a centimeter or two or something like that. Just find it out. You'll figure it out once you do it a couple times, right? And then you are going to go ahead and wrap this around. I Again, I'm moving my racket left just holding a little pressure on my overgrip. And I go, you can take your time or you can go faster, it's up to you. And like I said, if you screw up or something goes wrong, you can always unravel it, it's okay. Nothing will happen. Beauty of these overgrips is they don't have a sticky side on it all the way through. So you're gonna go ahead and finish that up. Boop, boop, boop. As you can see, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here you guys because I know your time is valuable and I appreciate that you're watching this video so I get to the end here uh, up to you some players like to actually cut this and make it really nice and flat uh, you don't have to uh, most you know most of us we do this on court so we don't have scissors with us so you get this piece of tape see to remember this the tape that I, I had off to the side now it's ready to go I just place it here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and try to catch the overgrip and my frame here. 
Uh, you see that, how I'm doing that? And then I'm gonna wrap it around, boom, get it there. It's up to you how perfect you want it to be, but the important thing is that it's on the racket. And there you go, we have an overgrip finished, all done, you're ready to go. Make sure you throw out the garbage. All right, guys, uh, again, my name is Greg Kushnez. I'm with BetweenThePoints.com. You're watching BetweenThePoints.com. And if you're a new viewer to our channel, uh, please subscribe and tell your friends about it. Also, we've got something really cool that uh, it, it, if you're interested in serving and adding 10 to 15 miles per hour and saving your shoulder um, and having a few more easy points, a few more winners on that serve, then I want to give you, I'll offer you a free uh, serve training that we call the free kinetic or the kinetic serve blueprint. Uh, all you have to do is just sign up below, sign your name or click the link below and it'll send you to the page where you just put your email, your name, uh, cl click send me the, the videos and you'll get a free course. Uh, it's got like 10 videos and it's everything. And it's the counterintuitive way of hitting a serve, but most effective servers are using it today. Um, and I swear by it. I discovered it from Dr. Kovacs. I mastered it uh, because I was having sh arm problems and I realized that what I was doing was wrong. Uh, and I'll just give you one little hint. Most people think about the serve as a throwing motion, but that is not the case. According to Dr. Kovacs and the research he's done, the serve is actually more like a shot put motion. So if you're interested in that, sign up. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. I hope this overgrip video helped you a little bit here. And, and next time you're on the court and your overgrip's dirty, ready to go, watch this get yourself a new one, right? These are awesome. It's a little toys, little tools that we have as tennis players. Have a great, wonderful tennis day.